Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 46 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electrical potentials, right? In this case, we consider this system. It tells us we have the dipole momentum P, and then it can be considered as the vector sum for P1 and P2. And this P is given, and we also know the angle, right? From this uh, uh, hydrogen atoms to the next hydrogen atoms is 140 degree. So we can see this, if we consider this is angle theta, the angle theta is half of the 104 degree, so we can write the theta at there. And the distance, right? The distance for this dipole is given, D is given, and the P is also given, the total dipole moment. We need to find the Q for this case. As we talk about the dipole moment is a vector, right? So its P is looks like is the sum for two vectors, P1 and P2. In this case, we can project the P1 and the P2 in X component and Y component. You can see at the Y component, these two vectors cancels, right? Uh, in the X component, we can see we have P1 cosine theta plus P2 cosine theta. As we learned in this uh, chapter, we know the dipole moment is just the charge times the distance d, right? So Q times d. Agree? Yes. Now, in this case, we can write this P as a 2 times QD times cosine theta, right? Because the P1, P, Q equal to QD. Put it inside, we look at this one. Now you can see in this function, P is given, D is given, theta is given. We need to find the quantity Q, so we can get the function for Q in this function. Find the, function, find the quantity Q in this function. Input the known quantity is P, D, cosine theta. We get the answer there. Right? The next one, we need to determine the electrical potential far from the mo molecules due to the H dipole P1, P2 shows that V equals to this function. So how can we do that? We can see in this case, um, we consider this is the location we are interested. The location is P, right? And then the angle theta from this location to the center, we can see this is the theta, right? Yes. And that means for this upside, this is a 45 degree minus theta. This side is a 45 degree plus theta, right? Yes. As we just uh, talked about, this vector should include two parts. First, first part, the momentum P1. The second part, the dipole momentum P2. Agree? Yes. Now, in this case, we can write the potential at this location P as the dipole P1 and the dipole P2 look like this function, right? Yes, this is just a winner in our test book. Now, we need to simplify it. How can we do that? We can see P1, P2, as we talk about, is Q times D, right? And then this is a function we just get in reverse. So the QD can be replaced as P over 2 times cosine 45 degree, right? Now we input P1, P2 in this function. So P1, P2, we put it in this function. It can be replaced in this one, right? And then this function can be simplified as the final function look like this one. Then we proved it. Thank you.